Well, good morning. Oh. I am here. No sunrise walking. <laughs> but I did get up early at 8 this morning. And just finished my 20-minute workout with Kamoya Ferry. Remember, I'm doing indoor workouts <laughs> for a while uh, and little small walks outside just to make sure I get my vitamin D. But oh, trying to give my knees a rest from the pavement this week. But as you can see, getting a little sweat on and I feel good. Going to go out on the porch and get my Bible study in. Have me maybe a cup of coffee and uh, enjoy my day. I'm so thankful to God today for giving me the strength and the energy to get up and take care of the temple he blessed me with. Remember, we are guardians of this temple that he blessed us with and we can't take that for granted by what we put in our body, by what we, how we move it. Um, I wish that I had the wisdom that I have now when I was younger, but <laughs> those days are gone. All I have to look forward to is what I can do today. What I can do today, not even tomorrow, just what I can do today for this body so that I can take care of my family, do my job to the best of my abilities. It keeps the exercise clears your mind and 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 helps you think better and you just feel better about yourself. And that's what God wants is for you to feel better about taking care of your temple, spending that time with him and just having a good life. So, we're going to get, I was going to show you here, one second. This is what I exercise to, in case you want to look her up. It's on YouTube, and if it's free, it's for me. No, no gym memberships, no worrying about what people think about you or nothing. Just get your workout in, get out there. It's, it's for you. Thank you for watching. I think we got a video up last night, so it's been mo mainly me, well, Mr. Willie's recuperating too, but remember to take care of your body, remember to listen to your body when it tells you that it needs a break. Love you, and there's nothing you can do about it. Good evening. I'm out for a stroll on my own. Uh, haven't walked in the last two days, but uh, I'm going to get some steps in. I have exercise inside. Uh, taking a little break here. But uh, it feels good to be out. Something I did do, I got me another pair of shoes, so my knees and hips are feeling better. It's amazing how a good pair of shoes will make you, <laughs> will help a whole lot. So, remember to stay up on your sneakers. I haven't bought a, a pair in about a year, so. But these are feeling good, and I'm feeling good, getting some fresh air. The sun hasn't set, but it's behind the clouds, so. The 
It's a beautiful sad Sunday afternoon, evening. I did take a nap today, but I got up, felt refreshed, so I figured I'd give the old legs a try. And I'm glad I did it. Well, looking forward to a new week new way of getting some movement in my body remember we were meant to move and when you feel stiff and achy sometimes just getting up walking to the mailbox will help we love you and there's nothing to do Well, hello, I'm back. Sitting out on my porch, I lit a candle. That's a, a, a bug candle <laughs> to help with the mosquitoes. I do have a bug sapper, but it's not quite dark enough for that yet. So I'm just uh, sitting here enjoying nature for the evening with my plants and taking in the fresh air. When the mosquitoes start to bite too much, I'm going to have to go in. But I realized that I had a story that I didn't share with you guys. Um, I remember telling you about my neighbor. Um, but um, my neighbor Carrie down the street here who was recovering from uh, some surgery and she was in a wheelchair. But um, she said that I, my, I'm an inspiration to her to get up and walk. And the other morning, I was out walking my one of my sunrise walks. And um, she stopped me and talked to me. And uh, again, wanted to express that, uh, that uh, she was happy to see me out again. And that I was helping her because it looked like it was going to rain that day. And so she wanted to get some walk steps in. She was out having her cup of coffee on the porch. But she said, now I'm going to get up and go walking. <laughs> and um, I just want to remind you that, that as a Christian, you never know who's watching you. I never even knew my neighbor down the street, Carrie. Um, and I've been living here for like 20 years 20 plus years and there you go. but um, just me getting out there and and walking and her seeing me you have to watch what you're doing be present and do what the word says and just be just be a, a symbol of what Jesus would do and God has always told me to get out here and walk and 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 um it it just touched my heart that she in and we shared some scriptures and talked and talked about the goodness of God and all of this stuff and and about fasting and the Daniel fast is what I was doing last month which um helped me to lose about 5 pounds but not only did it do that, but it brought me closer to the Lord. That's when I started coming out here, having my quiet times with him. I had quiet times in the house, but sometimes when you're out in nature, it, it just makes it different. And I, it was such a, a growing process for me, and I did not want to share with anybody that I was doing that. But, but I, it wasn't mainly about the weight loss. It was mainly about getting closer to the Lord, like Daniel did, and trusting Him with my body. And it was such a spiritual thing. But um, it just just make sure that you, when you are doing things, that you do everything for God. Do it in the name of Jesus. 
and not for any glory or not for because you know oh i gotta do that not grudgingly just do it and trust him trust that he's gonna take care of you trust that he's gonna gonna make a way that was something that my pastor talked about today he preached on tithing but he put it in a way that was so different to me that he um used the fact uh the the image of uh Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden and he had told them not to touch the fruit and I'm touching the fruit. <laughs> oh, <you're still. laughs> and he told them not to touch the fruit and that is your tie you have to not touch the tie because you bring on a curse and you and, and, and things come upon you when you don't pay your tithe. It was so it, it was such a opening <laughs> I never heard anybody preach on on the tithe that way. And it was so revealing to me. It really ministered to me. So just think about that. That that fruit was their tithe and they were supposed to give them not touch it and you're not supposed to touch the tithe that 10 percent you're supposed to save it and put it away for god and that's all he asked 10 percent so and i i just had a good day today it was a good day and my neighbor carrie i just saw her when i was walking in so have a blessed week I will be back and we will post these videos as soon as possible. I have a haul for you. A big haul. We love you and there's nothing you can do about it. Thanks. Well, good evening or good afternoon. Whatever time you're watching this, good morning. <laughs> Could be morning. But uh, it is Friday, May the 3rd. And... um. I have this Friday off and and I uh, had to take care of some business today and run some errands and do a lot of little things and I uh, put an, a Walmart order in and I went by and picked that up and uh, this is kind of a big haul. It, it was $230. Don't get you much now, but... <laughs> It is what it is. Let's uh, turn around and take a look. But I hope you're having a great week, a happy, ready for the weekend. It's the weekend coming up. And uh, I hope you have a great one. But let's turn around and see what we have for grocery. Um, here we have, start over here on this side. And right here we have some golden potatoes. Um, I swear, bag, bags of food are getting smaller and smaller as we speak. But last, last time I ordered some of these, they were much bigger. But these are golden potatoes. I don't know if you, you ever tried these, but they pretty much are buttery enough that you can just just cook them and eat them as they are maybe add some a little salt and pepper but they are so yummy and buttery i like to roast them and and have them as a side dish and then we have here we have some navel oranges i gotten into an orange kick here lately and i'm um, gonna uh have those this week Back here, I gotta do better at this. Back here we have three avocados. I lo love avocados, they are so yummy. And as you know, I like avocado toast in the morning. I like to have that on wasa bread. I'm not sure if you know what that is, but I have showed it on here before. Back here we have some kale. And this kale is actually for salads. I like to uh, um, use that as part of my salad along with spinach and and lettuce. But it's very hearty and filling. And then back here, we
We have some corn. I'm into corn now. I like to cut those up and season them up. And you can put them in the air fryer instead of boiling them. And it makes them have a good roasted taste to them. Love those. Here we have some everything bagel seasoning for the avocado toast, of course. And some Himalayan pink black pepper salt, which is good also on the corn that I just showed you. I have some uh, sunflower seeds, which is good on what? Salads. Back here, oops, sorry about that. Back here we have some uh, grapes, some black grapes that are yummy. And I put that in my salad, fruit salad. I'm going to show you guys when I cut up my fruit salads. Because I have a pineapple back there that I put in my fruit salads. And I usually put strawberries and grapes. Uh, but strawberries... The, I like to buy those in person, so I'm not letting anybody pick my strawberries because <laughs> they don't come out so good. And we live in the strawberry capital, Florida. We need to have good strawberries. Here we have, of course, the Dunkin' Creamer, some Chick-fil-A sauce. I actually ordered the Walmart brand <laughs> of the, that sauce, but they were out of it, which... I personally like better than the Chick-fil-A sauce, believe it or not. But um, I don't use it. My son does. So they uh, they sent that as a substitution. Down here, we have some uh, crab, imitation crab. And I'm going to make a, a uh, seafood salad instead of tuna salad this week. And I use this. I chop it up finely and make it you know make a salad I'll uh, I'll try to show you guys my recipe <laughs> when I um, make it this week we have green beans for this week we have hamburger patties back there and um, some great value chicken nuggets we have some enchiladas no chimichangas sorry about that I thought it was a burritos, but it's chimichangas. That was a replacement as well. Then we have some brown rice. And as you know, I make my own little meals sometimes other than what the guys have. So I like to have me some brown rice that I can cook up quickly. We have some raisins here for snacking. Some sun-made raisins. Have some um, Cheez-Its, a variety pack. We have cheese, some Kobe cheese, and some Kraft cheese. I'm sorry, guys. I, I really need a new stand, <laughs> a new um, tripod. This one is, is not serving me well, and I'm going to do that this week. We have some canned corn here, along with some apples. They didn't have my cosmic apples. And quite frankly, the cosmic apples are getting a little too pricey. <laughs> so I, but people are buying them. But these are the pink lady apples and they're good. Back here, we have some Fig Newtons. And I don't know about you, but did you eat those when you were a kid, growing up kids, the cheese stick? You dip the stick in the cheese. <laughs> I put those in my husband's lunch sometimes <laughs> as his little snack. We have paper plates there, and then we have some turkey for sandwiches, along with that cheese. We have almond milk, and I have been into this past week, as, as I told you guys, I took a break from eating meat, and now um, meat and dairy. And I'm still somewhat on that path, but I do eat fish. I've been uh, incorporating some fish in there. But basically, just uh, in the mornings, I'll have some smoothies sometimes. So I have the smoothie along with my vital proteins and bananas. We have bread. We have water. Some flavored salsa water. Right here, I have a Power Mop refill. Um, 
I really kind of fell in love with the power mop. Um, and it's been working out well for me. So I've been using that when mopping my, my floors. Uh, we have bananas here. These are frozen bananas. Cause like I told you, I've been into smoothies and those work well so I don't have to put ice in my smoothie but I can put the frozen bananas in there along with this vital proteins which is very good for your skin and bones and bone health and as a lady in her 60s I have to watch that and back here we have banana walnut bread for the guys and and I have some Alfredo sauce along with the infamous yellow rice that Mr. Willie likes. But I bought the Alfredo because I was going to make chicken thighs on top of noodles for meals this week. But did you see any chicken in here? <laughs> the chicken thighs were not available. And I know a, the, a lot of the problem is that it's the third of the month. And everybody is in there buying their groceries the first and the third of the month. So I'm going to step out tomorrow and go pick up the things that I didn't get in this haul today. But thank you guys for watching. And remember and never forget that we love you and there's nothing you can do about it. I hope you have a wonderful weekend, and we may bring you in and let you see our weekend is all about. Have a blessed day. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Sunny day. Keeping Hello. The clouds away on our way. Oh, sorry. That's me, Street. <laughs> Y'all remember that, right? To where the air is clean. Can you tell me how, how to get, get how, how to get, get to Sesame, Sesame Street? Street. <laughs> TV worth watching. Good old days. The good old days of TV. Hello, everybody. We are out on a lunch break walk. No. With our hats. It's a very sunny day. The sky is so beautiful and clear. Which way are we going? Uh, let's go to the left. Got some um, nice fluffy clouds. It's warm, but the humidity is down today, so it's not too bad. The birds are singing. I see it. Birds are singing. It's a Monday. Monday. And the question is, have you moved today? Nah, I don't have that question for you. Do whatever you want. <laughs> so we had a great weekend. Yeah, it was good. I worked Saturday. Hopefully we can work on a video for you to go up. Tomorrow, yeah, because I have quite a bit of footage now. Well, you know, tomorrow I'm at the work on tonight. Thank you, thank you. Day my early, my early day, so I have to come home and do it. Yeah. What do you want to talk about today? I, don't know, I just want to say, hey, I don't have any, any plans. Loud out today again. But again, it's a Monday lunch break. So people are out and about. Oh, yeah, it's, it's a regular work day for the rest of the world. Regular work day for the rest of the world. We're out and about. You want to sit? Yeah. Doing their thing. Not everybody is able to. Uh... It can't all be me. 
or good night. <laughs> or work from home like me. Yeah, the whole the whole work thing is really really changed. There's so much. There's so much less of the whole get up in the morning, go to a go to a building, do the nine to five thing. Between you know people who Uber and Lyft and DoorDash, who work from home, people who have you know jobs that aren't regular hours. The landscape is so much different than it was, you know. When we stepped out you know, into I, the workforce, you know, when, I was a kid. when we stepped out into the workforce, it was eight to five, nine to five. Oh, that kind of thing. So. Go into a big corporate office, have a big corner office to work from. A lot of it was changed by COVID, but a lot of people were doing that before COVID. Yeah, I mean, there, I mean the landscape had changed a little bit before then uh, with uh, the ability of computing from home, especially, made a big change. And, and the advent, just the advent of a cell phone made a big, a big difference. That if you had to be near a phone, you could be near a phone anywhere. So and text message people, you text. could be at the park and, and be texting. Uh, I mean, um, emailing your job and doing work. Yeah, yeah. So the, so, so technology just like always changed the game. So um, I don't know. You know what I do. People try to do online, but it doesn't really work all that well. That's why a lot of people don't. Uh, you know, when you teaching lessons, you I teach, think it should be a hands-on type thing. When you teach music, because uh, someone, someone learning an instrument, you really need to be there. Uh, corrections can be made, be made instantaneous uh, just by you know just a simple you know, move your hand over there, uh, that kind of thing. So um, during COVID, we tried to do some lessons on. on from home, from the computer, and, and it worked. And people were people were patient, but that never worked as well as at, at an in-person lesson. It never worked as well. So, I don't know. I think again, it, it, it just depends on the industry, uh, on, 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 on if things are going to be the same or different than they were before. So, it depends on, on it's been the industry. Ready to get out. Do you want to keep going? Well, I got to get home. <laughs> well, I mean, this way or the other way? Let's go the other, let's go the other way. Oh, I'm up. I'm up. Mr. Willie needs some new shoes. I'm up. I told you guys yesterday, I got some new shoes, and it made a whole big difference in the way I feel walking. That was the major thing I think was bothering my knees and feet were the shoes. So, I got me some shoes. And they, my feet are thanking me. And my knees are singing hallelujah, Debbie. We can get you out again. Okay, are we done? Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Subscriber, subscriber numbers are actually through the roof, and we appreciate that. Well over fourteen hundred. Uh, didn't have any really idea that it would it would we would Go break the fast. thousand level before and, you know, the end of the year. And you know this year, but obviously we're looking at at the 2000 level before the end of the year and we appreciate you for doing that and the views are up so we appreciate you for doing that too so and we ask that you like and share comment be interactive with us you have a question? And don't ask me ask her and <laughs> make, her, make her actually re return the comment i am about i am looking into doing a 2k prize once we reach 2k we're gonna do a giveaway I thought that tricycle was was tied to that tree Never mind. no <laughs> it's not <laughs> but they built a tricycle swing okay cool. all right we gotta get out of here make room for somebody else 
always remember. Never forget. We love you. I, there's nothing you can nothing do about you it. Nothing you can do about it. Peace. Peace. Hello, hello, good evening. It's a Monday, May the 6th. Made some meals today. We have chicken Alfredo with spinach. Some of them have uh, garlic butter, string beans as a side. Haven't made this in a while but it is also a family favorite. My family pretty much likes anything that I make. But um, this is, again, chicken alfredo with uh, spinach mixed in and garlic butter green beans. Thank you for watching. Hope you have a blessed week. We love you and there's nothing you can do about it. Thank you. Okay, so here's a little glimpse of my dinner for tonight. I have a sweet potato over here with some stir fried vegetables, brown rice. I put a little um, sunflower seeds on top of there with cucumbers. That's my vibe for this Monday evening. Um, the only thing in there that's sort of like meat is like mushrooms. I have mushrooms and red peppers and some um, red onions. I'm sorry, red onions. But I made this for just me. And the stir fry vegetables are left over from yesterday. So, but yummy, yummy in my tummy.